This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. We get a community update from the mayor of the borough of Cunningham next. Hi everyone and thank you for watching. I'm Ken Kerr with your information. The Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce was one group of many to receive some of the CARES Act funding from Luzerne County. CARES stands for Coronavirus Aid, Relief and Economic Security. Over $28 million was awarded to small businesses, municipalities, nonprofits, and schools. The Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce received $241,711 for a complete breakdown of the funding. You can go to luzernecounty.org. The money comes from the Pennsylvania Department of Economic Development. Arjanine LaSant spoke with a local mayor recently about helping local businesses during the pandemic. They also tackled a bunch of other issues in today's news feature. Joining us now on SSP TV News, we stopped by Cunningham to talk with the newly appointed mayor. We have Wister Juhas back on the program and Mayor Nice to see you here on SSP TV News. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me. We wanted to touch base because you, as I said, you're newly appointed and we wanted to see what was going on in Cunningham. I know you have exciting news to report about the police department. Yes, I do. Yeah. So uh, with the help of our amazing council down in Cunningham, uh, last month was appro we approved the, pro uh, the budget for uh, 2021. This budget is including a new police car for our borough. Um, a new police officer, um, and upgraded security systems throughout the borough. And this is uh, borough buildings and federal buildings also. Let's talk about money, taxes, and how it will affect the residents in Cunningham. Um, so absolutely, yeah. No, so uh, I'm going to first touch on the public safety. Um, the new bridge um, down by um, uh, Butler Avenue uh, just got completed. The same okay. with the project on Sugarloaf Ave. And with the whole thing with taxes with that, uh, we were fortunate enough to get grant money for that. So that actually affected uh, no taxes in uh, the Cunningham Borough. The Cunningham Borough hasn't actually raised their taxes in over 10 years. And this is actually a huge accomplishment uh, for the borough, especially with this past, this rough year that we just had. Um, yeah, but um, we do a lot of things to help save on taxes with doing a lot of in-house work, uh, fixing roads ourselves, and just small things like that. We just, uh, we got a new backhoe um, that we will uh, be able to do a lot of other projects in-house, so that will save a lot of the taxpayers money that will be able to improve public safety just around Cunningham Borough. In every interview, I feel like I always mention the P word, and that's pandemic, but unfortunately, that's where we are um, this time in our lives. So talk about working through the pandemic, how you and council have worked through that and have been able to keep business going. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, the, pa the pandemic hits everybody a little differently around the area. We make the best of everything that we can do. A lot of our meetings are online and stuff like that. But it's usually just business as usual for us. Now, unfortunately, we were unable to uh, have a lot of the events that we usually do, park program, Valley Day, stuff like that, to really uh, bring the community together. Because here in Cunningham, we're more of a community. We're more than a community. We're more of a family down here. So it, it's, uh, it's honestly heartbreaking walking down the street and not seeing people playing in the park, not people going walking up the street to Fratelli's. And uh, because a lot of these things, I mean, when everything is open back up and we're hopefully that is soon, hopefully everybody will get to see all these great things that for public safety that we've been doing around here. I'm glad you mentioned the businesses like Fratelli's, like the Brass Buckle. Um like the, the brewery and uh, along those along the main street in Cunningham, because it's, it's, it's important to keep these, these local businesses open. What have the concerns been from local businesses, if any, to you, to council, and what is being done to help them on a local basis? On a, on a local level, we're trying any business that reaches out to me, any council member, we are willing to help them in any way as possible. I know through uh, this whole pandemic thing, a lot of the rules have been changing. A lot of the percentages of how many people can come in, 
and all kinds of stuff like that. So we're offering help to inform and educate these businesses if they would come down to the office and we would explain what they can do, what they can't do. But we are still urging uh, and encouraging all our citizens to go out and support our small local businesses because uh, they need us more than ever now. Cunningham is a, a growing community. I, uh, the population has been growing. It's an area where more people are moving into now more than ever with people getting out of big cities and moving into little local communities such as Cunningham. Is that correct? Yes, no, absolutely. People are flocking down here to Cunningham because they just see, again, they see the community, they see the family, they see the supporting the local businesses. They, they're seeing the active uh, members of the community. And that's, to be honest, um, one of the greatest things that I see down here is actually just the community of people helping one another and everything like that. And it definitely helps that we have an amazing council that is also from here that is always looking out for the best of the community. Very good. Well, keep us up to date through 2021. Nice to hear that the mayor and council are working together. <laughs> That's always a breath of fresh air as we work through the pandemic. Hopefully things will I'll uh, be on the up and up and we'll get through this pandemic rather quickly through the summer and and um, spring and summer months. So Worcester Uhas again, the newly appointed mayor of Cunningham. Thanks for joining us here on Absolutely. FSC News. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Today's news feature is brought to you by Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant. Come in and get your chili day fix. The restaurant is now open for socially distant dining, delivery, carry out and curbside service. Before we get to the weather, a quick note from Marion Catholic High School in hometown. Marion students will be virtually learning until Friday due to three students who tested positive for COVID-19. The school will get a deep cleaning this week so students can return on Monday. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Bundle up this weekend. It's going to be a cold one. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service. We have a hazardous weather outlook as a very cold and blustery Arctic air mass pushes into the area that could bring the coldest temperatures of the season. On Friday, it's partly sunny with a high in the teens. Friday night, mostly cloudy with a low in the single digits. Saturday is partly sunny with a high near 20. Saturday night is partly cloudy with a low in the single digits. Sunday is cloudy with a high in the 20s. Sunday night, a 40% chance of snow, mostly cloudy with a low in the 20s. Monday, a 40% chance of snow, cloudy with with a high in the 20s, and Monday night a 30% chance of snow, mostly cloudy, with a low in the 20s. Only one score on the SSP TV Standard Speaker Scoreboard. The Hazleton area boys basketball team lost a non-league game to Cumberland Valley 60 to 37. Stay tuned for our in-depth sports feature coming up in a bit. And next, an interview with Hazleton Fire Chief Donald Leshko as he enters his 20th year of service to the community. And we have a clip from one of our shows in the SSP TV Spotlight. SSB TV News, blood to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Rose M. Caseri, age 93, of Hazel Township. A service will be held on Friday at 11 a.m. at the McKee Will Check Funeral Home. James R. Feist of Jenkinstown, who passed away on December 29th. Services will be held at a later date. Janice Fontana, age 63, of Hazleton. Services will be private under the Joseph B. Conahan Funeral Home. Pearl Chicky Gower, age 86, of Whitehaven. Services will be private under the Lehman Family Funeral Home. Rose Laser, age 96, of Hazleton. Services will be private under the Turnbach Funeral Home. Kenneth Andrew Mudlick, age 55, of Hazleton, who passed away on January 16th. Mass will be held on Saturday at 10 a.m. at Most Precious Blood Church. The Turnbach Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. In Lillian T. Verico, age 90, of Hazleton, Mass will be held on Friday at 11.30 a.m. at Most Precious Blood Church. The Frank J. Bonham Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Today's social and obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.